I'd rather have him than riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus. Blessing to you. Pray and hope you're doing well. Pray and hope your family members are doing well also. Let us continue to pray one for another, especially those who are sick and shut in, the elderly ones. Remember our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Let us continue to put them before the Lord, especially those who are not saved, that they will come to know the Lord as the Lord and Savior. Let's talk about the wrong direction. Don't know if it ever happened to you, but a few times it happened to me where I end up on the wrong side of the road and to oncoming traffic, heading in the wrong direction. Was going in the right direction, but all of a sudden I make a left turn and I end up onto a one-way street, which is an oncoming traffic. And it was a very scary moment. Uh, kind of panicking, trying my best to get back, turn around and get back on the right path. And as it is in the natural, so it is in the spiritual. When we are living a life of sin, we are on the wrong, uh, wrong direction. We are heading in the wrong direction. Many of us think that we are on the right path, uh, we are heading in the right direction. But when we are living in sin, we are on the wrong path. We are on the wrong side of the road. We are taking the wrong road. We make a left turn somewhere or a right turn somewhere from the path that God had laid before us to travel on. Driving up a one-way street into oncoming traffic. Don't think it's something anyone purposely set out to do when they go on the road. But as I said, mistakes do happen and we wind up making a turn and where we should not make a turn and we wind up into oncoming traffic. Sometimes the street signs do change from a two-way to a one-way. And if you have not drove up that street in a while, you're thinking it is a two-way street still, not knowing it is a one-way street. And thereby end up under wrong direction, in the wrong direction, and to oncoming traffic. So, we are not uh, always going to be perfect going in the right direction. Mistake do make. In Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21, it said from the NCV uh, Bible, it said, If you go the wrong way, to the right or to the left, you will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the right way. You should go this way. So many a time, my wife is in the car with me. And if I make a wrong turn, she will like, Kevin, that's the wrong way. So she sometimes is that uh, conscious voice that is behind me. Is saying that I'm going the wrong way and it's for me to turn around and get back on the right path. So it is in the natural, is it natural? So it is in the spiritual. The Holy Spirit is that voice we will hear saying that we are going in the wrong path direction. We are not to go that way. It is going to lead to death. It's going to lead to destruction. It's going to lead to us uh, basically giving our life away and He's trying to get us back on the right direction back to the path that God set out for us to be on. So, when we read Isaiah 48 and verse 17, it said, Thus said the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord, thy God, which teacheth, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. So when we are walking with God, when we are living a Christian life, God is going to lead us in the way we should go. He will not lead us in the wrong direction. But yet, as I said, we do make mistakes. We do stumble at times. But God is saying, get back up and get back on the right path before it's too late. Many a times we see where people drive up the wrong road and it is too late for them to turn around because they wind up getting into an accident, taking their life and taking the life of innocent ones. So, when we are living a life that is not righteous, when we are living a life that is not holy, when we are living a life that is not pleasing to God, we are going in the wrong direction. We wind up taking the life of innocent people. The wind up could take your own life, not that you're going to commit suicide, but that, that, that road that we are traveling on, thinking is a, is a safe road, it is a wrong road, and it's going to lead to hell. And hell, there's no point of return there. 
And therefore, we see many people who are living a sinful life, taking the life of innocent people because they are committing murder. We see mass shooting, and that's taking place all over because those people are heading in the wrong direction. God is not leading them. God is not directing their path. The path that they are on is a path of hell, the path of Satan. And when you are traveling that path, you wind up causing your life and the life of innocent people. So let us not travel in the wrong direction, but let us head on to the right direction, the direction that God set up for us to travel, that path that is laid before us to travel. Let us travel that path that's going to lead to life, because God is the only one that's going to lead us to a life of eternity, a life of, of joy and peace. But when we are in the wrong direction, living a life that is ungodly, unrighteous, unholy. We are heading in the wrong way. And that life is going to lead to death and spend eternity with Satan. And no one wants to spend eternity with Satan because we think that uh, we have it rough now. But just think about when you are in hell, being tormented, being on fire but not burning, cannot die. You are in eternity suffering screaming for help and no one there to help you. Now is the time to get back on the right path. Now is the time to get in the right direction and head on to glory. Head on to the path that God set out for us to be on. He sent His only begotten Son to die a life uh, on the cross for us that we might have life. He gave up His life that we could have life. Let us not waste our life by traveling in the wrong direction, a direction that's leading to hell. But let us get in that direction that's going to lead to heaven, to be with God. So, I'm not going to be long. It's just a short word of encouragement for us to get on the right path, the path that God has set out for us to travel on. Yes, Satan have his own path, and let us not travel that pathway. That's going to lead to the domain of Satan. That's going to lead to Satan's kingdom. But let us get on the, the pathway that's going to lead to a heavenly kingdom, to be with God. Two road before us. Choose one. One is the right one, and one is the wrong one. Many think that the, the, the traveling the road of, of, of living of, of Christian life is the wrong path. Then let them continue to travel on the path that's going to lead to hell. But if you don't want to go to hell, if you don't want to end up in hell, get on the path that God has set out for you. And that's the, the choose the narrow road that's going to lead to eternity. Yeah, the broad road might seem uh, very promising. It might seem like, oh, it's luxurious, but it's going to lead to hell. Let us not end up on that pathway, but end up on the pathway that's going to lead to us being with our God, our Creator, our Redeemer, the one who loves us. Satan doesn't love you. Satan desires just to, to destroy your life. What the Bible said, he's like a roaring lion. Not that he's a roaring lion. He's like a roaring lion seeking who to devour. And that's all he wants to do is to devour soul. God wants to redeem our soul. So let us turn to God and live for God that we can reign with him one day. God is calling you. God is saying, turn around. God is saying that you're on the wrong path. Turn around and head on to the right path. May God bless you as I pray in Jesus' name. Eternal, most loving and faithful God, you are holy and you are righteous. There is none like you. You are amazing God. You are loving God. You are God that cares so much for us that you send your only begotten Son to die a cruel death and Calvary cross for the sins of the world, O oh God, for us to travel the path that you set for us, dear God, for us to come off the wrong direction and head in the right direction. So, Father God, we thank you, O oh God, for your love. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace, O oh God. Have it not been for your grace, O oh God, many of us would have been dead and gone. But because of your patience, O oh God, giving us time, O oh God, to turn around and to head back 
on the right path there, Father. So, Father God, even now, God, as your Holy Spirit is speaking, Father God, and saying, turn around there, God. I pray, O oh God, that those who hear this, O oh God, if they don't know you, O oh God, Father God, for them to turn around, O oh God, and get on the right path there, God. And, Father God, those who have a relationship, O oh God, help them to understand, dear God, that they are on the right path there, God. And if they do make a wrong turn, O oh God, and Father God, it's not too late for them to turn around, Father God. So, Father God, I pray right now, God, help us, O oh God, to live a life that's pleasing unto you, O oh God, that's going to lead, O oh God, to be with you, O oh God, for all eternity, O oh God. So, Father God, I thank you, O oh God, and I bless you, O oh God. You are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all honor, O oh God. All glory and praise belong to you, O oh God. So, right now, God, I magnify your name. I glorify who you are, O oh God. I bow before you, O oh God. I stand in awe of you, O oh God. God, I love you and I adore you, O oh God. You are an excellent God. You are amazing, God. There is no one like you, O oh God. You are the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last, oh God. You are the Alpha and the Omega, God. You are the one who exits in time, but yet out of time. Father God, we thank you, oh God, for all that you have done, what you are doing, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you are calling us, oh God, to head in the right path, oh God, to turn around, oh God, from the wrong direction, oh God, into the right direction, Father God. So, Father God, I pray right now, God, that everyone that hear it, this Father God, that they will take heed, Father God, if they are not heading in the right direction, oh God. Father God, to turn around, oh God, and get their life back in the right direction, oh God. And those who are heading in the right direction, oh God, I pray, oh God, that they will encourage, oh God, to stay on that pathway, oh God, knowing their God, that they make a left turn or a right turn, oh God, off the wrong road, Father God. You are there, oh God, to say, turn around, oh God. And I pray, oh God, that they will turn around when you say, turn around, Father God, and not continue, oh God, to live, oh God, in a life that is not of you, O oh God. Father God, continue to draw your people, O oh God. Continue to convict them, O oh God. Prick their heart even now, Father God. Those stubborn neck people, O oh God, I put them before you, O oh God. That Father God, those oh Father God, hard hearted people, O oh God, I put them before you, O oh God. Father God, give them a heart of flesh, O oh God. Father God, that they will hear and take heed to your warning, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we pray right now, God, for our children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, O oh God, we lift them up before you, O oh God, that you continue to protect them, continue to shield them, O oh God, continue to minister to them, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, that you touch mind, body, and spirit, O oh God. Protect them, O oh God, from the onslaught of the enemy, O oh God. I pray, O oh God, as they go from day to day, O oh God, that you go with them, go before them, O oh God. Father God, walk with them, O oh God. You say you will never leave us, nor forsake us, O oh God. So let your Holy Spirit, O oh God, be with them, O oh God, as they go from day to day, O oh God. Remember our elderly ones, O oh God, especially those who are sick and shut in, O oh God. I pray that you will touch them in a special and mighty way, O oh God. Touch, heal, and deliver, O oh God. Remember those who are having problem, O oh God, physical problem, O oh God, whether it be a heart problem, O oh God, whether it be a kidney problem, O oh God. I pray, Father God, those who are waiting for transplant, O oh God, that you will provide provide for the Lord of God. And Father God, I pray right now, God, that you be the heart regulator that you are, Father God. Father God, I pray right now, God, that you, O oh God, touch kidney, O oh God, in a special way, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, those who are suffering from cancer, O oh God, I put cancer before you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, knowing that, Father God, cancer is just a name, but there is a name that is higher than every name, O oh God, the name Jesus, O oh Father God. So right now, Father God, pray for the healing, Father God, different illness, O oh God, I put before you right now, God, that healing, that touching, oh God, hurting the life of people, oh God. I pray right now, God, that you'll just heal right now in a special way. Touch mind, Father God. Those who are mentally ill, Father God, I pray that you'll touch their mind, oh God. Be a mind regulator, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, oh God. Remember those on the missionary field, oh God. I pray, Father God, that you'll continue to strengthen them, continue to protect them, oh God. Remember, oh God, unsaved loved ones, oh God. I put them before you, oh God, that they will come to know you as Lord and Savior. God, remember those who are grieving a lot of loved ones. Strengthen them, O oh God. Comfort them, O oh God. Wrap your loving arms around each and every one of them, O oh God, I pray, O oh God. And even now, God, we lift up our nations before you, O oh God. We lift up our leaders before you, O oh God. I pray, O oh God, that you will speak to their heart, dear God. I pray right now, God, that your Holy Spirit, O oh God, will convict, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray right now, God, that they will seek your counsel, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you and we bless you. Have thine own sweet way, we pray 
In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. I pray and hope that this little word of encouragement is of encouragement to you to head on the right path and not on the wrong direction. Let us turn around if we are on the wrong pathway. If we are heading into uncommon traffic, turn around. If we are heading to hell, turn around. It is not too late. So may God bless you and may God continue to keep you. Have a blessed and wonderful day. In Jesus' name, amen. Have Jesus Then silver or gold I'd rather have